From abandoned hospitals to creepy cabins, there's no shortage of haunted places right here in the United States. But when it comes to scary destinations, few are more terrifying than the most haunted prisons in the U.S. These lockups are filled with tormented spirits that never got the chance to find peace in life or in death. Ready to see what they are? Here are the most haunted prisons in the U.S. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia. This prison needs no introduction as it is considered to be one of the most haunted prisons in the U.S. It was built in 1829 and functioned until 1913. During its time, it held some of the most dangerous criminals in America, such as Al Capone. This prison wasn't just your typical jail. It was designed with solitary confinement in mind. Prisoners were kept in small cells by themselves for days, weeks, or even months at a time. This practice led to a number of psychological problems among the inmates, which may have contributed to the hauntings that are said to occur at Eastern State today. Those who work at the prison or visit it often report hearing strange noises, feeling cold spots, and seeing shadowy figures. One of the most famous ghosts is said to be that of a prisoner who died in cell block 12. His name was never revealed, but those who have investigated his cell say that he is one of the most active spirits that can be found there. If you want to experience the terror of Eastern State Penitentiary for yourself, you can take a tour of the prison after dark. Just be prepared to encounter some unwanted guests. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, Louisville, Kentucky Waverly Hills Sanatorium was once a state-of-the-art facility for treating tuberculosis patients, but the sanatorium was poorly designed and the treatments were ineffective. Many patients died, which led to the sanatorium being abandoned in the early 1960s. Today, it is said to be one of the most haunted places in the United States. Visitors have reported hearing screams, seeing apparitions, and feeling strange physical sensations while on the grounds. In fact, it is said that the ghost of a little girl named Timmy is particularly active. She is often seen playing in the hallways or heard crying in the middle of the night. Ohio State Reformatory, Mansfield, Ohio the Ohio State Reformatory was once a maximum security prison, but it has since been abandoned. Visitors have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. Sing Sing Correctional Facility, Ossining, New York. Since its opening in 1828, Sing Sing Correctional Facility has been one of the most feared prisons in the United States. It is here where over 600 inmates have been put to death. And, as you would expect, so many souls have reportedly become trapped within the walls of this prison. One of the most well-known ghosts is that of an inmate who was executed in 1942. His name was Thomas J. McGrail, and he was convicted for the murder of a police officer. It is said that he haunts the prison to this day, seeking revenge for his untimely demise. There have also been reports of strange lights and shadows being seen throughout the prison, some have even claimed to hear the voices of prisoners being tortured or calling out for help. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania As we mentioned earlier, Eastern State Penitentiary is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the United States. Inmates were kept in solitary confinement for days, weeks, or even months at a time. This led to a lot of psychological problems among them, and it's believed that these problems caused some of the prisoners to lose their minds. Some of these prisoners are said to still roam the halls of Eastern State today. The most famous ghost is said to be that of a prisoner who died in cell block 12. His name was never revealed, but those who have investigated his cell say that he is one of the most active spirits that can be found there. He is often seen sitting in a chair or pacing back and forth. Wisconsin State Prison, Waupun, Wisconsin 
the Wisconsin State Prison in Waupun has only been open for about 150 years, but in that time it has already earned a reputation as one of the most haunted places in the United States. The prison was built on the site of a Native American burial ground, which may explain some of the hauntings that have been reported there. Inmates have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison, and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. New Jersey State Prison Trenton, New Jersey. The New Jersey State Prison in Trenton is one of the oldest and most haunted places in the United States. The prison was built in 1864 and has since been abandoned, but it is said that the spirits of the prisoners who died there still remain. Visitors to the prison have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. Missouri State Penitentiary Jefferson City, Missouri. The Missouri State Penitentiary in Jefferson City was once a maximum security prison, but it has since been abandoned. Visitors have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison, and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. Joliet Correctional Institution, Joliet, Illinois The Joliet Correctional Institution is one of the most haunted places in the United States. Inmates have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison, and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. The Old Main State Prison, Thomaston, Maine. The Old Main State Prison is one of the most haunted places in the United States. Inmates have reported seeing ghosts walking the halls, moving objects, and interacting with people. In fact, it is said that the prison is so haunted that paranormal investigators have been unable to enter certain parts of the building due to the high level of paranormal activity. Some of the most famous ghosts are said to be those of two former inmates who were executed in the prison. Their names were John B. Ruth and Harry P. Williams. It is said that their bodies still remain in the prison and they are responsible for some of the hauntings that have been reported there. Those looking for a truly spine-chilling vacation spot might consider visiting one of these abandoned prisons, if they dare. Which prison would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.